JC, how'd you go out there? Get the adrenaline pumping? Certainly did, certainly woke me up. Um, it was really good. There were some real tight turners and the sand was quite soft so that the ABS on the van really came into its own and kept it nice and stable around those corners. Yeah, for sure. Now look, the Tonka is fully off-road. You designed this. It is. It's actually an extreme off-road. So yeah, this isn't for the faint-hearted. So yeah, what you guys are setting up for us today is amazing. It really gives you know, potential customers um, a real-life bird's eye view of what the van's capable of. Now, not for the faint-hearted. I want to come back to that because I'm just about to show you through our first obstacle the yep. Vantec Caravan Graveyard have you heard of that we're gonna bury you <laughs> hopefully not bury you in the Tonka we're gonna put you through there come out the other side yep. and then into a water crossing okay awesome. how do you feel about that well the van needs a wash so yeah that'd be great <laughs> <laughs> well doesn't JC look the party out here today cool calm collected talking Jess through how he thinks he's gonna go out there but you can talk the talk but will he walk the walk Yeah, awesome. Oh, look, Maka, I've got a young boy, as you know. We play with Tonka trucks a fair bit, and I am very keen to see if his Tonka skills exceed my kiddos. Well, I reckon JC's probably gone into it a little more cautiously than your Jules would have been the same situation. Crikey, that came out of nowhere. No, I know. He must have had an extra spoonful of enthusiasm with his breakfast. 